radical. So here's my quick thoughts on the Xbox and Bethesda game showcase. This is part two of three. Okay, I spent 30 minutes checking this out from the 30 minute mark to the hour mark. So that's factored in into these uploads is the time actually it takes to watch this stuff, right? And now there's a lot of interesting looking games. One would be Far Cry 6. Uh, I played Far Cry 4, played Far Cry 3. I love those games. Haven't played Far Cry 5. But there's a lot of shit to blow up. There's a lot of interesting things. I mean, it's a Far Cry game. You're probably going to have fun with a Far Cry game. In this one, there's something that turns from a vehicle to a flying vehicle. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it exactly. But you pull a lever and then it goes... It just looks fun. Really fun. And you can weaponize roosters... Yeah, you can weaponize roosters somehow. So that's an interesting gameplay mechanic. Re, what's this one called? Replaced? Replaced looks really cool. Looks like a pixel art type game. And I just, I generally don't care for these games all that much. But I might be coming around if a lot of them look like replaced. It looks like really high quality pixel art. Like, I've never really seen anything quite with that uh, kind of detail in a pixel art type game. Looks really nice. Looks really nice. There's a Shroom and Doom update to Grounded. I haven't played Grounded. Doesn't really look like my cup of tea, specifically. But I will say the trailer is really cool, and the announcer had a joke about mushrooms. That was pretty funny. Uh, Atomic Heart has a game. I forget what it was called. But I got some, like, weird... Maybe it was just me. I got some weird, like, Half-Life vibes... I don't know, it looks very interesting. Uh, you're taking on like a robotic AI. There's mechanics to where you can actually use telekinesis. Looks like an interesting blend of a lot of different different genres. There's a up there's a uh, update to Diablo. Diablo is not my I don't really like the Diablo series, but for some of you that are interested, there's a big Diablo update coming. Okay. Two more to knock out here. My thoughts on two more games. Shredded, the snowboarding game, looks beautiful. Looks stunning. Stunning. And I'm not a big time fan of snowboarding games. I like some of the skateboarding games, like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Uh, I know there was a redo, a remake of Pro Skater. Was it any good? I know Tony Tony Hawk Pro Skater Five was just terrible. I didn't bother with that one. But snowboarding. It looks beautiful. It looks breathtaking. The snow. The snow specifically. And this is not like... It might be some some bullshot. Might be. Because it doesn't look like it's... Uh, well, I mean, it might be in-game animation. But it's hard for me to believe that it looks really that good in-game. I'd have to wait and see some actual gameplay footage. But if it looks anywhere near as good as it does in this trailer... It easily would be the best looking snowboarding game of all time. I don't know what the market for snowboarding games is. I don't know what the pricing on that game would be, but it looks just beautiful. Beautiful, right? You owe yourself to check that out if any if you check out anything else in here between the 30 minute and hour mark. And last but not least, let's talk about Halo Infinite. There's a single player and a multiplayer. The multiplayer is actually free for everybody, if I'm not mistaken here, which is great news. The single player, you see Master Chief, kind of it's kind of short, but you see him talking to a different AI. It looks like Cortana, but it's not Cortana. And I don't know what the story there is, but apparently Cortana has been deleted. But I don't think that's the case. I think that's what they just want you to believe. But I think Cortana's AI is alive out there somewhere. And a big plot of this game would be Master Chief finding Cortana's AI. I just don't really care for this new AI, is what I'm saying. You know, So I hope we get back the original Cortana AI. The multiplayer. There's a different aspect to the multiplayer. There's one aspect that's going to change all the multiplayer. And I know purists probably are, are not going to like it, but it's the grapple. The grapple is going to come into play, and it came into play here a lot, there's this part where you grapple the ceiling, you grapple to the top of the ceiling, and there's this really skilled person that grappled and then pulled out a sniper rifle 
after the grapple and hit like a, hit like this guy with a sniper rifle, which can't be easy, right? So uh, it might actually raise the skill level on Halo for a lot of people that are going to become really good with the grapple. Now I'm curious. I see that the grapple can actually grab weapons from midair, which is pretty freaking badass. Let's say you kill somebody, and let's say you kill somebody, and then they drop their weapon, and then you grapple their weapon, maybe it's like a rocket launcher, and then there's one of their buddies on the other side, and you take that rocket launcher and you kill them with the weapon that his friend had. That's really cool. And you can just grab all kind of things with the grapple, and it actually is not just weapons or just the ceiling. You can actually grapple onto people in flying vehicles that come near you. I hope that's not OP, though, to where, like, people would not want to, you know, get into the flying weapons because you can now easily... Looks like you can easily grapple onto somebody and then pull them out of the uh, vehicle, right? There's a couple new weapons. There's one that looks like a giant-type spear, uh, but it's hard to really place what these weapons really would look like or if they're just different versions of the other weapons. Yeah, so it looks definitely different than the other Halos. Am I going to have fun with it? Am I going to try it out? Well, yeah, it's going to be on Game Pass, so I'm definitely going to try it out. Part. Uh, what y'all think about this? The middle part from the 30-minute mark to the hour mark, basically. Maybe right up under an hour.